what is happening, what is going on, you absolute bunch of legends, hopefully you're having a great day or a great evening whenever you're watching this video, but yeah, what are we going to do is let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to create a procedural glassy plastic material. It's very, very simple and it looks nice. It's pretty basic, but I think it works in a lot of nice scenes, so I thought I would just show you how to do it. So first thing I'm going to do is go shift A and I'm going to get a mesh and I'm going to get the monkey and I'm going to go here to modifiers. And I'm going to click there and I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier as usual and just smooth it out because you don't want it to be, you want it to be as smooth as possible. Then click shading, click on the object, hit, hit new camera. I can delete it. I'm not going to need it. And I'm going to zoom in to somewhere like this. Okay. Now I'm going to click here and click there. And there, so we can see what we're working with. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the principal BSDF and we're gonna delete it. And that's the material. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video. Peace. JK. Let's get into it. So first thing you're gonna do is go shift A and we're gonna get a glossy BSDF. Let's put this here. Shift A, let's get a diffuse BSDF. Plug that in there. Then what you wanna do is move this here. Go shift A, get a mix shader. And put this there. We're going to plug the shader into the surface and then plug this BSDF into the top shader and the glossy BSDF into the bottom there. Then, what you want to do is go shift there and get another mix shader and plug this in there like that. That looks good. Then, what you want to do is go shift there, get another glossy BSDF and plug this in there. Then what you can do is go shift A and get a Fresnel node and put this here, plug the factor into the factor of the first mix shader. Okay, so now whatever color you want your plastic to be is what will be used here. And let's make ours like a blue. Something like that looks quite nice. And then for the roughness, let's make it 0.003. Okay. Then change this to GGX. And then we're going to bring the roughness all the way down to, and you can see already how nice that's starting to look. And then the mix shader, we're going to bring this down all the way to about there. And that is already starting to look nice. Look how nice it already looks for a glassy material. I think it looks quite nice already. We're not done yet, but it already looks pretty good. And this glassy shader, same thing. Boom. And the roughness all the way down. To about them and there we go if i zoom in look how nice that looks i think it looks very good for kind of like a plastic kind of material if i go here and i click here and i go shift a and i get another object so we can use a let's just use a normal cube and go g bring it to somewhere like that and hit new boom and let's throw this material on there and look how nice that looks it's got that nice reflection as well which is what you want so you can see there how nice that looks. And for me, I think it looks very nice. It obviously looks nice on these kind of objects there, something like that. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out Blender Kits, link in the description. In my opinion, this video is not sponsored, but you get 10% off if you use that link. And I think it's the best add-on in my opinion. I'm gonna make more videos on using Blender Kit, but yeah, make sure you check it out. Feel free to check it out. There is a free version. Check out my Patreon. I always upload these videos now first to the Patreon. So if you want to be a legend, even more of a legend, I should say, then feel free to check it out. No pressure though. And hopefully have a great day or evening. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.